since we're going to be putting some thumbnail images in over here, it's probably crossed your mind that having a fluid column for that section probably isn't the coolest thing, right? Because um, what's the point of having this padding over here and having it flexible? I, I think, I personally think probably the most appropriate thing for this column is for the artwork column to be fixed all the time. It's just going to stay there fixed. It's not going to do anything. Well, how do we do this? You know, probably my thinking automatically from this would be, hey, I'll create a class, define a width, and apply that class to the table header over here at Artwork. It's going to squeeze it in. It's going to give me the whole thing. Well, let's see that in action, shall we? So here we go. I'm going to click on Artwork in, my, in Dreamweaver. I'm going to create a new rule. Probably make this less specific. Are they uh, a little more specific? There we go. So table header, cool. And uh, you know what? I'm going to just create this a class because I don't want them all to be specific, right? And here we go. And I'll name it so it'll be th dot uh, fixed width. That sounds like a good. If I know how to spell width, okay. There we go. Looks good to me. Class names must start with alphabetical characters, but what did I? What are they talking about over here? Oh no. I think this is Dreamweaver having a little moment. Alright, Dreamweaver. Let's try that again. Did you notice? Rewind that video. I didn't change anything. Just kind of got, sometimes it gets a little funky. Can't figure out why. So, okay. So let's go, where is it? Right, where is with? There we go, under box. So I'm going to be putting icons in there that are 100 by 100, so I don't see why I need more than 100% width. Hit apply. All right, let's see what that looks like. Let's see. Firefox. Did I save that? Um, I believe I saved that. Oh, duh! I didn't apply the I didn't apply the class to that column. So let me go right here and give this thing a class of uh, my fixed width attribute. All right, there we go. Now that looks better. So now let's try that again. All right, look at that fixed width in Firefox. I'm happy. Everything else is moving. The picture row is staying fixed. Let me do the same in Safari. Oh, look at that. So everything would be living to the left over here. Cool. Now let me make sure it works in IE. You piece of junk. Okay. I mean, I actually knew this was going to happen. What's happening here is Internet Explorer basically has a different way of calculating the value of this thing simply because we didn't we're just kind of letting it be fluid so I think Internet Explorer uh, actually I'm not even sure um, how it's calculating it because when I've done it before it's always been fixed with like you know you put you make sure the width of your say that you, you'd make sure that the width of your table is I don't know a hundred pixels wide then you could subdivide it by four so you'd say you know 25 pixels 25 pixels 25 pixels 25 and then that way if you made this thing 10 pixels you'd have to kind of add everything else to this thing or we'd have to add percentages to all these things and make sure that all the percentages add up and voila voila. it whatever uh, the point being is that it ends up being more work than I want to get into but I still want my width to be that that way so there's a technique that I found that works for this particular issue and that's just to create a percentage for it and what I do is if you put one percent down you say it's going to be one percent of the width it's not actually it's going to default to this whatever the percentage is that this e that this equals if I add it one percent it'll only go as small as the thing in here so by me adding uh, by me defining a one percent width for this um, for that column although 
it wasn't broken in Internet Explorer or Firefox. Actually, look when I when I it's a little bit smaller, but uh, remember in Firefox it's a little bit smaller. But if you remember, Firefox doesn't actually um, render it because we don't have a picture in there. But Safari's doing a pretty good job over here, and it hasn't changed. Basically, the reason why we're doing one percent width instead of defining this exact width is that on the Firefox and Safari are going to honor that width for what it is. It's going to say it's going to say um, this is supposed to be you know 100 pixels wide then you calculate the rest of these things to be a total of 98 percent of the width of the center and Safari does the same I mean a Firefox is the same thing Internet Explorer has a different algorithm on how to do it so so far the one technique that I found that works is just add a really small percentage to it this picture is always going to be or most likely going to be larger than one percent of the total width of this thing so therefore it's going to default to the size that it's going to be and the size that the image is going to be and as far as I'm concerned that was a pretty easy way of getting around something that may have been a lot more effort than I would want to put into it